Welcome to Cannabis School. I'm your host, Jesse Angelus. And I'm Brandon Elder. And we're here to talk to you about everything pertaining to cannabis, from vape, flower, edibles, strains, and everything in between. Welcome back. Welcome back. Another strain review. We are so excited to see it. Before we get into that, thank you, Patreon. Thank you, guys. A ton. Like, we love you guys. Yeah. I mean, even though every every dollar does help, we do not. We, we're just thrilled. We just think about how we're able to put this back into the show. That's oh, yeah. all we do with it. We well, just, it helps ship out, like... Yeah. giveaways and stuff and yeah. you know it helped us get to this stage of new mics and that yeah it's been fantastic and it's you know we appreciate it all the time so if you get a chance go over there donate put into the show help yeah. us to continue being able to put out more product more content uh we've got some cool stuff on the horizon i know we always say that but we're literally we're adding those things we try not to move too fast with the podcast because adding more things is just adding more things yeah, it's always steps, but yeah, we, we're excited for this year and all the new things to come. Yeah, we've got so. some really cool ideas, but without further ado, this is Italian Eyes. We I'm are, trying something new. Oh, what are you trying? Oh, you're I've never try tried the, the lemon juice thing before yet. Yeah, it's I've cool. never done it. Yeah, try it before you consume, and it's nice to be able to kind of cut back on the anxiety um, that you sometimes can get that that tightness in the chest. We're going to be doing, this is an Indica hybrid leaning strain. That's correct. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Dude. Yeah. Um, so it is an Indica leaning strain. That's like an instantaneous. So I didn't feel like I was anxious at all, but it alters it yeah. like instantly. Yeah. It changes the chemical composition. That is wild. I told you, dude, it is by far the coolest thing to take. Like it was a, a guy had reached out to me, a friend <laughs> and he's like, Hey, uh, I know I haven't talked to you in a while, but uh, uh, my girlfriend had an edible and she's freaking out right now. And I'm like, oh, That'll well, happen. do you have lemon juice? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, give her a shot glass if she's like, oh, I don't want to drink it. Okay, well, you want to continue feeling the way. A moment of uncomfortableness to hours of being super uncomfortable. <laughs> so, yeah, for reals. It's really good. I mean, I, I use a little bit, uh, here and there to be able to help out. We reviewed a strain earlier and I took the lemon juice and it's really cut it down. Like you can feel a difference. That's which what is, I was noticing was like from the previous strain, just like the sudden instant t- change from where I was at to now. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like so if you don't have wild. access to high, high end, high quality CBD, then a potent, you know, form that's going to be longer lasting, but this is instantaneous. And, uh, it's, I mean, it's lemonine. It's all it is. It's straight lemon juice. It's it's just, you're you're getting that. That's the terpenes that you get in those strains that don't make you feel very anxious. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's go into this. So we're, we're trying this in a concentrate. This is in a wax. In the Oxo C-Note, they sent out the new one. So this is the first time trying it out. Oh, let's see if it works. Uh, we're trying this in a concentrate. Do you want to? Take first. Sure. So it'll it'll vibrate when it's ready. Um, yeah, the typical e rigs do. I like that. This is really cool. I like that. But you can turn off the light so it's not quite as bright, or you can leave it so it does that. I got. There you go. Like, you can start pulling. I see smoke coming out of the top. Hey, right. oh, that looks cool. Hmm. So the flavors on Italian ice are supposed to be berry, citrus, like a creamy, fruity, but with also a sour, spicy, and tobacco note. Oh, there's more of a piney taste. Tell me what you think. (coughs) I forgot the C note gives feedback to the mic. Yeah. Some of the electric things that we have will definitely give feedback. So I get a lot of, I do get more of a minty. Um, I get some citrusy, very mild berry, which is always nice and concentrates. You really get a taste, uh, the cannabis. I mean, it's, it's very nice. Um, and this is really cool. Look at that. By my face. Looks like it changes colors and stuff. Yeah. I do get (laughs) citrusy, earthy. You can turn that off or hit it again. 
mild, <coughs> mildly with the fruity. Yeah. In concentrate form, this is a fantastic one. I like it because it's um, beta carophylline in this. <coughs> Linalool is the most dominant terpene in this one. Hmm. Because, I mean, I'm getting strong peppery, like at right? the back of my throat. <coughs> oh, yeah. Which is not, I mean, for linalool, I guess you could say that. But Let's I... see if it says other... Beta carophylline, I'm, I'm immediately, I'm like, me. yeah, that's... Just shows the linalool. Um, yeah, maybe it's just, that's so, so, I don't know. I I haven't had a whole lot of strains with a lot of, with a high amount of linalool. But that's just maybe me, or maybe um, what I can there remember. There has been a couple of them, and I don't remember which ones <clears throat> at this moment were high in linalool. But it's, I mean, it's... But we have seen it come through. So this <laughs> one is, uh, this hits me right in the eyes, Right away, even though it's an it, well more of an indica, um, we we just tried a different indica strain, and I didn't get that feel uh, that I'm getting right now. But <laughs> it is a little disorienting. It's a little heavy on my, my forehead. Yeah, my I feel cheek. My cheeks a lot. I feel like in my forehead, like I've talked about this, like like it's like an anchor being pulled on the front of my head where I'm going down. Like it's just like I'm going like this. <laughs> like that's what I feel like I need to do. Because it's so um, top heavy. Yeah, it's very top heavy. I'm starting to feel it a little bit rise up into the top of my head, but mostly I feel it down my cheeks. I feel a little bit in my forearms. Uh, this forearm all of a sudden feels very sore, very weird. Isn't that weird? So the last strain we did, I had a moment that came in that a muscle in my jaw hurt for a bit, and then it went away. <laughs> I was like, all right, well. It's See, so here's the thing, too, that I notice about with concentrates and Brandon, because Brandon, I can, you see him smoke flour, chill, carts, chill. When he hits dabs, mm -hmm. you can see it. You can because see Because it it's face. the thing that hits me the hardest. Yeah. Because everything else is like, eh. Like, I love flour. I love flour. Oh, yeah. But nothing hits me the same. It's like, I can take a big dab, and then I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I feel good. Like my back doesn't hurt. I feel like not anxious or stressed usually. And for me, that's why that's good. I feel really floaty. Yeah, but my body just is in like, my head. I don't feel, my body doesn't feel heavy in relaxation. Like you said, floaty. It's like a light relaxation. It's yeah. interesting because I feel it down in my calves. Yes. Um, yeah, I feel in slow. my arms. I feel slow. That's what you could say. Like this... I think enough of this. Like, honestly, if I allowed myself to, I could sink into the couch. Not like a strange where they make you feel like you're passing out. I don't feel like I'm slow. I feel like I'm really relaxed. I feel slow. I feel slow. Like, I can, I just know there's delay. I feel it in my fingers. Delay. I feel it in my hands. I feel it in my tips of my fingers. Yeah. Like a slight pressure. I feel like relaxation through the palm of my hand. Oh, it's weird. It is so cool. I like this. Yeah. That's good. I, I, uh, it's often used for like anxiety, stress, and depression, which I could feel being really good for that, like a mental health strain. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would agree. I think the one thing like, cause heavy indicas tend to make me more panicky. Yeah. And I only had a little bit of lemon juice. So after this, I'll get some get more some lemon more. juice. Yeah. And some but, CBD. Um, it really, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I couldn't do a whole lot. I feel this, this in my shoulders. Like, it's like really nice. Oh my God. I don't feel it in my shoulders yet. I it's, do feel it in the forehead, like real heavy in the forehead. That's interesting like to it's me. It's pulling me down. I like lightly, barely feel it in my forehead. It feels like a, uh, somebody rubbed, like, uh, what the fuck? Um, Their dick on your forehead? See, well, <laughs> stop talking about your fantasies, Brandon. Uh, I don't no. want to rub my dick on your forehead. <laughs> oh, no, you do, dude. You, uh, come on, I've seen your Facebook. Put you in your place. <laughs> Dude, all right, we've already got too far. But now I just feel like uh, icy hot is on my forehead. Like it's like it's feeling cool. Cool. And I've got a hat on. Yeah. So that's even better to say that because it really feels like icy hot, like right on my forehead. 
And it's not bad, don't get me wrong, but this is more of, this is a heavier, what I would consider a heavier Indica uh, on a hybrid side, but even an Indica by itself, because I've had Indicas where I'm just like, yeah, totally fine. I've had some sativas that just knock me into the dirt, uh, but this one is- I feel it going up. Yeah, I feel it now like in my upper back, right below like my, the bend, like into my, going into my armpit. Yeah. Like it's just weird, but I don't feel it in my shoulders. I feel it all in my head. Yeah, oh. it's going going to the top of my now. I feel like it's in the top of my head as yeah. well. I'm gonna take my glasses. Like it's going all over. Oh my gosh, it's oh my dude. Mm. This one's usually like relaxed, focused, and sleepy. I couldn't be focused on this. I'm having a hard time focusing now. Yeah, yeah. Like, How many fingers am I holding up? <sighs> Glowing salt rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I like it. It's it's very relaxed. This is something where I know that this effect is going to wean off here, probably in the next ten to twenty minutes. Like I, I just know it now, knowing enough about concentrates and how they work with my body, that will dissipate, and then my body will feel it. I do feel panicky a little bit. Um, <coughs> is that because you feel decently high? Yes. Okay. I'm way too, I'm, I'm over what my normal everyday consumption would be at any yeah. given time. Like I'm right below this. So I shouldn't have hit it again and I would have been just fine. So for me and, and awesome cheap date, right? Yeah. We're talking about that's so minor amount. It's such a tiny, tiny. And the cost per use, you got to think about that. If you're a person who is, a frequent user, and a frequent user is meaning once a day at the minimum, but you're using it every day, that's a frequent user. Um, if you are moderate, that means that it's every so often, maybe once a week, or maybe twice a week, or even three times, like that would be a moderate user. And a light user is maybe once or twice a month. Yeah. And so you start looking at your products and what you're using, right? If I'm getting a cart and I consume light to moderate, moderate, that's a really good deal for me. No matter where I oh, am, it'll at. last you forever. If yeah. I have to pay, have to, have, if I have to pay eighty dollars for one gram cart, it's still worth it to me. If I'm a moderate to low to a user. light user, yeah. yeah. But if I'm a last you a long time. But if I'm a light user, and this this is where it's going to sound weird. If I was a light user, I would use concentrates. They're cheaper. Most places, I feel like the concentrates are and cheaper than the cart. Way more experience right away, exactly what you want to get. I feel like you get better flavor from this. Mm -hmm. And you get better temperature control than your cart. Yeah. And so like... <laughs> Which is really counter to my belief before was that concentrates were like for more of your advanced users. But I think if the dosing is just right, and a lot of it is just sight. Most like, people go to concentrates for flavor. Really? Terpenes. Yeah. Well, I, but you know what? You're actually tasting it, though. This is what it's intended to be, the the closest to flour and vaporizing flour. Yeah. Because this actually feels like, see, now it's, I told you, like, it's going to start changing. And now I feel less on my chest, less panicky, and yeah. more relaxed. But that's three pulls. That's it. That's like a tiny sliver amount I think what we tend to do is use a lot of it to make sure that we're feeling it, but yeah. we could accidentally overdose ourselves and not really because it, it's such a delayed response. And then it, because it can build up and it really hit Ooh. Brandon. Yeah. I always, I always feel like with concentrates in any sort of rig, you've got about 10 to 15 minutes after you take it. That is your peak. That's where you'll get to, and usually that's where you'll ride for who knows how long. Right. Um, for me, hopefully, hours. Yeah. And that's why I like concentrates, is because if I do enough, that will actually last me for hours. So this is obviously not a really good focus train for Jesse. No, this is not a good focus train for me. Like it's, this is more of just, uh, and, and I'm glad. Dude, I don't feel foggy. Great calling it out right no, there. No, no, it's not bad. No, no, but I mean, it's <clears throat> it's helping you realize, and that's good for every, every listener or anybody who's watching this. Like, look, this, not all cannabis is equal. No, 
Oh. And so you really need to figure out what is best for you. And using concentrates, like I love a sativa concentrate. It is the best experience for me ever. But when I have an indica in there, it's very strong the other way. And I'm foggy and I have a hard time maintaining focus. And so I don't, and you have to know thing. when to yeah. use because that's where I worry about people just going, you know, what are you, what are you using, right? What are you consuming right now? Yeah. And, and I say it that way. I don't want to say use. I say, what are you consuming right now? And they go, um, I don't remember. Like, that's yeah. not something, you're not a can of snob if you're like, oh, what strain is it? No, you're just, it's like, again, you want to know what you're putting in your body. Right? It's like having a bowl full of prescription meds that's just been shoved in there and you have no clue what's in there. There's blood pressure medication, there's boner pills, there's, you know, anxiety medications. And <laughs> plan then there's, B pills. There's there, dude, like there's plan B, Tylenol there's, and Tic Tacs just to fuck with you. I was going to say Flintstones gum. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> right? It's just chewables. That's the way I look at people when they say, I don't know what I'm smoking. Is they, they got a prescription, they just went like this and they go, well, whatever's in there, yeah, I'm taking and you're like, uh, well, you're a woman. You didn't need that boner pill, but good yep. luck. Your blood pressure is about to go down. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, it's it's those things that I'm just like thinking about. Like with the concentrate, you really need to be thinking about what's going to be the best use for you. And I believe that new consumers would really enjoy this, would really enjoy it because one, it goes forever. It's concealed yeah. in a container. You're not going to lose any like, because if you think about those THC oils and they just sit there and you haven't used them for a long time, oh yeah, they'll leak and they the flavor is weird. Well, you can store these in your fridge, like yeah. the cool ones. It's so much nicer when you right. do it. Like it preserves the terpenes more. It just goes longer. Yeah. So it makes it your product better longer. So if you're a new consumer, you get a gram of dab. That should last you a while. Well, that's going to last you a long while. You're getting exactly what you want. You're using it once, twice a week. Great. If you're a moderate user, great. You're going to use it just maybe three times a week and you're going to use very little. And if you're a heavy user, well, better for you. It's fantastic. Yeah. Because you can actually use like the dose you need. Right. Right. And that's Pens why. Pens won't get you there. No. And, but again, going back to what Brandon said, you know, yeah, I, this isn't a productive strain for me. This is, I don't know what this is. I think it would depend on what I'm doing that I could be productive. Like yeah. I still feel focused and I've been, um, I've been studying for the next level of the ham radio test. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so like, I could feel like I could do that. I could do editing. I could do lots of stuff, but I don't know if I'd really want to go out and work or do something. Yeah. I, this isn't a social strain for me either because I wouldn't want to be around a lot of people. Yeah, it's not known for being chatty. No, this is not. Like the last one. Was a really talkative strain. Super talkative. This mm -hmm. one's caught mouthy a little bit, but that's just later on into it. Not heavy. Yeah, it's dizzy, dry mouth, dry eyes, um, potential for headache. So if you're yeah, new. I feel slight. Low and slow. Um, often that will dissipate as well. So give it a minute. You know, wait 10 minutes, that headache can go away. And if you were listening earlier, um, try that, you know, do like a hot half glass of uh, lemon juice before you consume. Yeah. Um, I don't feel any panicky. Like I felt it slightly, it was coming on, but it went away quickly. I don't feel like if I didn't take the lemon juice before doing it. Yeah. It would be a different experience. Plus we oh, just yeah. did a different strain and that took it quite a bit down. And so it's just like, I could actually feel this one instead of the last strain. Uh, yeah. Yep. Which is really good. I mean, a lot of people don't know that. Like you can switch between strains almost at any time by being able to do these little things yeah. on the side, CBD, lemon juice. I mean, if you're, reduce your high. Yeah. Just yeah. reduce it down a little bit and you'll feel great. But uh, yeah, this is a great strain. Something that you should have. Yeah. It's, I think it would be a good like end of day strain. For most people, mm -hmm. um, if you do have chronic pain, honestly, I don't feel like it's melted down past my crack disc one. And right now, most of the pain that I have is like that much my back, That's which cool. is way less than usual. So, yeah. And I bet if I took more, it would go through that too. Yeah. If, I, I think for pain, like it is a, a really nice strain that you 
This is one I would check out. Yeah, for pain, uh, definitely. I have arthritis in my hands. Uh, this is just hereditary in my family. It sucks. Uh, well, it's see snowing my, today, so you see my dad's knuckles, dude. They're like knots. He just uh, he's in his seventies now, guy. so I mean, but you know, it's just a lifetime abuse. That but cream from uh, Mons Pura was oh, fantastic. Was dope. Yeah, yeah. They discounted their stuff again, dude. Might be a good thing to get him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so. yeah. I, I, I was thinking about that. Like, I typically have to use something like to warm my hands all the time right now. Like last night, they just ached, and so, but I don't feel it right now. Yeah, it's fantastic. I don't feel it at all. Like I'm just like this is like the best anti-inflammatory strain. So yeah. if, if you if you have great, arthritis, yeah, I mean, just thinking about what you said there. You know, if I'm a blue collar, I work with my hands all damn day, and I come home. Yeah, yeah, my back's gonna be sore. My lower back's gonna be sore. My legs might be sore. Like who knows what I was doing that day. This is a great strain to be able to take that. Take away the pain and relief. You can just kind of zone out. You know, skip the beer. And just watching a show, have a little bit of this, sit down, have yeah. yourself a decent snack and just chill out, relax and get rid of those away. aches. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, the inflammation, man. a lot of that just comes from the tension with inside that muscle, not necessarily an injury. You know, it's just talking about yeah. like stress in our lives. Yeah. That shit just builds up in your neck and it just, it's in your back and everything just hurts and you just get more angry. You need that relief. So yeah, this, this would is be a great good for that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are um, up for a new concentrate and a strain, I uh, would love to hear about it. If you guys have had this in flour. That'd oh, be that would cool. be a really nice flour one. Yeah, that'd be delicious. <clears throat> I didn't get any tobacco notes. No. Um, supposedly this one's really known for tobacco notes. But I, I used to frequent think... tobacco a long time ago. I like it. It doesn't taste like cigarettes. No, it is very relaxed though. I feel like the longer it goes, the more like relaxed I become. Yeah. Yeah. I could take a nap on something like this. And yeah. I, I also feel like I maybe could later. And that's <laughs> weird because I don't normally yeah, nap. Yeah. I was about to say like, you hate napping. I, I, I legit never nap. I rarely do. Um, I have to be really tired. It's the random times. It's on like a weekend and my kids are here and we're watching a show and I'm just exhausted and I doze off sitting up like, dude, that that's the only time I ever nap. My family, we do family movie night every Sunday. We just pick a random movie. And we watch it. Yeah. And I would say about 90% of the time I'm out cold because <laughs> I'm just like, I'm watching and I'm like, and, and I get, I get pretty baked before. Cause I'm oh, just yeah. like, yeah. One, I don't want to watch this stupid kid's movie, but I'll <laughs> fucking do it. And then I sit down and then all of a sudden I'm like, and then, you know, I wake up to, no, neither the child, they're a child. And I'm like, oh my, it's already the credits. That's funny. Going past. And I'm like, I just look at my wife and I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like, no. if I had this, I'm out. Oh yeah, for I, sure. I could see that. This would definitely put someone to sleep. Oh, it's good though. It's good. It's really good. Italian ice. Go get it at your local's freezer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Thanks again to our Patreon followers uh, and yeah. members. We love you guys. Yeah, just you make a lot of this possible. Stay tuned. We're going to do another live smoke sesh with our Patreon team here. Yeah. Um, and we'll do another live uh, on Instagram. Insta, Instagram. We'll actually get that working. We had so many technical difficulties. We apologize for that. But we will have another one really soon because there were so many of you on there that... Uh, yeah, we, we want to talk with you guys. That yeah, was awesome. It was we awesome. We, next we went time. to like a Zoom thing. But anyways... but. We got, we're, we're really excited to be able to talk to you guys about a couple new things coming up, but stay tuned and uh, take care.